Hello and welcome to my channel Tune to Linux. In this video, I'm going to discuss and demonstrate about the installation of OpenStack Cloud tool in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.2. Okay, so OpenStack is a open source cloud tool which is very much popular nowadays and it can be installed in all the Linux platform if you are going to install in SUSE Linux or if you are going to use Ubuntu or CentOS you can go ahead and install but I would suggest or recommend to install or use OpenStack in Red Hat why because if you are running a cloud, uh, cloud environment and that environment is for protection then you should have something or you should have support from OpenStack and as well from Red Hat. So in case for example if you have run into some issues you have bug fix, security fix or any other issues you would have support from the vendor right. So that is why I would always recommend you to have and to install OpenStack in Red Hat Enterprise Linux servers. So in OpenStack if you talk about there are many components comes with OpenStack okay so there are uh, some component which I am going to uh, discuss in my previous video uh, in my future videos not in previous and <coughs> and I am going to discuss and I am going to show you uh, probably in each and every component what are their roles and responsibilities and for now for this video I am going to just show you the installation part okay so in brief if I talk about the component is uh, the components are the components are called horizon so that component is basically used for your dashboard okay and other components are keystone which is usually used for your authentication and there are many nova cinder uh, neutron glance swift Selimiter, etc. Okay, so those are the components, and each component has their own role. So that is why I need time to uh, explain. So which is not going to cover in one single video. So probably I'm going to cover that later. Okay, so let's get started. So for the installation, there is some prerequisite you need to install. Uh, you need to ensure. So there are some prerequisite which I have mentioned here. The first thing is to subscribe your system with RSN site so that you can download and install your OpenStack packages otherwise you need to have a local repository available uh, available packages which you require to install your OpenStack okay so for this video I have a local repository I will show you the repository after this uh, after this walkthrough okay so here you can see the second step is the network manager okay so you need to install the network man uh, you need to uh, stop the network manager because network manager can cause many issues so i need to uh, in, uh, i need to stop this and the next step is the slash etc host file so that your ip and host name should resolve okay so if you are running a dns then your slash etc host file is optional if you would like to use or update those, those information you can go ahead otherwise your DNS will uh, DNS will resolve your IP and the fourth part is the pack state which is a uh, development tool through which we can install OpenStack it simplify your installation and it is very much useful so I'm going to show you how to install through pack state and there are some steps I have given for uh, the subscription how do you register your system with uh, RHN and how do you see the subscription details so first this one if you run this command it will ask for an username and password you have to log in with those credential and once you have logged in you have just register your system and after that you have to subscribe your system you have to run this command to subscribe your system and you will be able to see some messages like this and to see the listed subscription uh, subscription available with your account you can run this command and you will be able to see the list uh, able to see the listed subscription and the other information about your contract account id and other stuff so here you can see those information and also the service uh, service level type the support which they are going to provide is from l1 to l3 so some information about your subscription and start date and end date so those information you would be able to see if you run that command 
and once you have uh, sure about your uh, subscription details then you can enable the repository which is uh, required and first in the repository which is required by you to install the OpenStack is your OS repository so that is why I have given this command which will enable your OS repository and the next one is for your OpenStack repository so once you have done uh, run this bot command you will be able to see if you if you run yum repo list you will be able to see your repository details so for now if in my system if I do rm yum repo list I can see there are two repository the first one is for OpenStack and the second one is for my OS okay so here once you have confirmed that then you need to install one plugin which is required to install your OpenStack uh, components so let me install this package first and it is done and the next one is your OpenStack packstack services so let me copy this and install this one as well So here there are some dependency and also there is some package which is uh, regarding puppet okay so don't confuse why this puppet modules uh, packages are installing because the component which is going to install through packstat it, it is actually use the puppet uh, manifest okay so through puppet manifest it uh, it will going to use each and every components which is um, comes under openstack okay so to see if you see those rpms or services are running so th don't confuse about that one so let me just show you here the packages which is installed so here you can see there are two packages which is installed regarding puppet okay so after that there are two commands which will uh, which you can use the first one is uh, pack state pack state minus minus all in one okay and the other one is pack stack minus minus answer file and the location where you have kept the file for example i am going to keep the file inside this location okay so if you run this command your components which is uh, many like uh, swift cinder heat keystone glance and other components it will going to install all the components if you are running this command okay so for now i don't want it to use cinder and swift right so i don't want it to install these two components so how will i exclude these two components so for that i need to generate an answer file and i need to mention there that i'm not going to use these two components and after that i can start the installation process so to do that I first need to create a answer file to generate that file there is a command called packstat minus minus gen minus answer minus file and you have to specify the location where you are going to save it for example I am going to save it under root so if I run this command that file is created ok so now I can edit this file so let me copy and open it in vi let me clear the screen and run this command okay so if i run this command now i can see those components here everything is you can see so first thing is cinder which i need to uh, exclude from my installation so i'm just going to say as no here okay and let me just search with the number because it is a huge file and uh, I don't remember each and every component so let me search with the line so the next line is 67 and uh, 12 here so I need to provide the password through which I'm going to log into my dashboard so this is my password and I need to go to line number 67 and update the NTP server information it is optional if you would like to use the NTP server you can use otherwise you can skip it and later you can update so for now I'm just going to update is pool.ntp.org and the other important thing is I need to exclude uh, cinder and swift so let me go to line number 246 
Okay, so let me scroll it down a little. Here it is. So in 246, there is a keystone admin password through which I'm going to log into my system as admin. So I need to set the password as red, red or whatever as you like. You can specify it. And now I need to go to line number 282 here. And I need to disable cinder. Okay, so I'm not going to use cinder, so that's what I'm going to say as now here. And I'm going to use line number 560 so let me scroll it down okay let me just go to bottom of the file and do 629 here 629 let me scroll it up so this is a demo provision because if I use this it will install all the component here so I'm not going to use this one okay so and the next one is 560 line number 560 uh, this is the one so when i'm going to use the dashboard horizon that that will going to use an ssl uh, port right so that's what i'm going to say as yes okay and what else i need to upgrade update line number 39 let me see whether i have updated that line or not so let me just go back all above the top of this file so here it is so 39 it is saying swift is installed okay so that's it i need to make a change and i'm just going to save this file so that is done so now what i have to do i'm going to install the open stack with Pextate. so my file is under this location and i'm going to use the same command Pextate minus minus instead of generate i'm just going to push the information saying this is the file you have to use equal to slash root insert dot txt so my installation of Pextate through Pextate it is started and you can see it is checking for all manifest information like I said it is use Puppet if you are familiar with Puppet then you will have a little idea and you can see this all extension of this manifest is uh, ending with dot pp so my installation of OpenStack with all the component, component excluding Cinder and Swift is started and this will going to take a little time probably by uh, 15 to 20 minutes. So what I am going to do, I am just going to pause this video for now and resume once the installation is completed. So installation is completed, now I can go back to this console here terminal and you can see there is an installation completed successfully message and you see some additional information about your password okay so the password information in this location and in this file and there are uh, some link has given this is for my dashboard okay so let me just copy this and open in my dashboard here oh not this one it didn't copy let me just right click and copy and go to my browser and paste it here okay and i need to accept the certificate and confirm the exception and there is one more for negios because uh, there is a component installed for Negus as well, so let me try to open that as well. It is still loading. It okay and different tab. Let me paste this here.
I think it did not copy so system become very slow because it is having only 2 GB of RAM probably because of that and here uh, instead of dashboard I need to mention as Negios ok and he is asking for my username and password so my username is Negios admin so if you just go to this terminal you would be able to see the username and password information so this is my password for Negios let me just copy and open it here enter it is trying to log in meanwhile we can try to log in in okay so it is login so here you can see the dashboard for your negios and you can see uh, system information if probably I can click on host here and you can see there is one node is up and system status in total is okay so this is how you can monitor your OpenStack system okay and here is the OpenStack dashboard so my username is admin and the password which I had given is Red Hat so you can be able to see the dashboard momentarily it is loading So it is always uh, preferred to have more memory because for this demo I thought 2 GB memory would be enough but I think it is not. So if you have good amount of memory then your system performance would be high and you would be able to do things quickly. But here it is taking a lot of time because of the memory. see this one I can see already but this is taking a little time and finally I can see the dashboard here so this is how the Red Hat OpenStake dashboard look like and you can see the option here overview resource users hypervisor, host aggregator, uh, instance, flavor, images and other options ok so I am going to show you later how to install uh, guest operating system ok and other component like networking how to create router ok and how to add uh, an operating system like the images like if you are using Red Hat you can create some images for it had and template so there are many things which needs to be discussed so for this video that's it I don't have much for this video so you can try your installation and let me know if you have any issues and also please please subscribe my channel because it is very important if you subscribe more then I will come with more videos like this because it will only encourage me to have more videos yeah, okay and also if you have liked this video please hit like okay so and i think that's it for now thank you so much for watching this video have a good day